afternoon. I'm Riza Diaz. This is One News Now. Various LGBT and the human rights groups gather in front of the Commission of Human Rights to protest against the presidential pardon given to U.S. Marine Lance Corporal Joseph Scott Pemberton. Baghari spokesperson Ray Balmores said the pardon given to Pemberton sets a wrong precedent should another Jennifer Laude be victimized by another U.S. serviceman in the future. She added that this will cause a negative impact on LGBT rights on the ground. Meanwhile, Karapatan Secretary General Christina Palabay hopes this will serve as a lesson and prevent a similar case from happening. Pemberton was convicted in 2015 of homicide after killing trans woman Jennifer Laude. Both groups also condemned Secretary Harry Roque's remark that releasing Pemberton is for the possible access to a U.S. developed COVID-19 vaccine. House Minority Leader Benny Abante insists on the need for an oversight committee following President Duterte's signing into law the Bayanihan to Recover as One Act. Abante said the utilization of the 165.5 billion peso economic stimulus package needs to be guarded closely. The House leader points out that the country cannot afford the misuse of the fund since revenue and tax collection are down. The president approved last night the measure which requires him to submit to Congress monthly reports regarding its implementation. The law also approves or provides rather 10 billion peso fund for standby for purchase of a COVID-19 vaccine once available. The Filipino faithful, faithful are being called to pray for the speedy recovery of Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle after the Vatican announced he tested positive for COVID-19. Vatican Press Office Director Mateo Bruni said Tagle, who is now based in the Vatican City, returned to Manila and underwent swab test upon arrival last Thursday. The result was released to the public yesterday, which came out positive. Now, the former Archbishop of Manila is symptomatic and is now quarantined. Bruni explains that Tagle had just undergone swab test in Rome last Monday, September 7, and the result was negative. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines calls on the public to pray 10 Hail, Ma 10 Hail Marys for Tagle's recovery. Archbishop from different parts of the country also offer their prayers and mass services for the Cardinal and all other COVID-19 patients. Now, to lessen direct contact, the Venezuela city government launches a contact tracing app called Valtrace. Through the Valtrace app, an individual will no longer need to fill up contact tracing forms in every establishment he or she will visit. They only need to, or they only need to show their unique QR code that will be generated through the app. Records of the places they have visited will be registered in the city's mega contact tracing center. The Valtrace app is now downloadable for free in their website, valtrace.appcase.net. And or a no QR code, a no entry policy will be implemented. Scanning of QR codes will begin on November 16 in all enclosed indoor establishments in Valenzuela City. Now, about half a million people in Oregon, USA, are now kept under evacuation alert as unprecedented spate of deadly wildfire rages across the state. Thousands of homes have been gutted, making Oregon the latest epicenter in an outbreak of fires sweeping the western United States. It has scorched land the size of New Jersey and has killed at least 25 people. Oregon Governor Kate Brown warns the death toll could grow far higher as dozens of people have been reported missing. Authorities are also bracing for possible mass fatality incidents as disaster teams search scorched ruins of about half dozen small towns laid to waste. Now, for more updates, follow News 5, Philippine Star, and This is World Online. You may also visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on Signal Play app. Register now for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Riza Diaz. We are One News.